mirror mirror on the wall do we have a fall 2023 super drop uh, we have we have we have and here obviously we have a fall 2023 super drop wizards of the coast will never waste an opportunity to reprint everything everywhere fall 2023 super drop will be available for pre-order until october 1st a good month of time to decide whether you are going to place any order or not but is it worth it to buy fall 2023 super drop Intro, please. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. As per my usual, Secret Lair is it worth it videos to determine the worthness of a drop. I will break down the content, evaluate it on the secondary market, rate it in terms of worthness, and give you my personal advice. First drop Absolute Annihilation, a particular drop featuring four cars with spectacular artwork by Tomo77 Price, the usual two versions Non-foil 29.99, 34.99 Foil version 39.99, 44.99 Content value, approximately $18 The most valuable card in this drop is Original Mirrodin Mass Hysteria An enchantment capable of giving all creatures haste Valued at around $10 Then we have Oppression, a card just reprinted in the Enchanting Tales of Wilds Overdrain, valued at around $7, while the rest two cards, Abrade and Terminate, have a combined value of only $1. Verdict, worth it 30%. Considering that Wizards of the Coast are reprinting everything everywhere, just take a look at Oppression, a set just reprinted in the Enchanting Tales of Wilds Overdrain a couple of days ago, and considering the content value, half the price this drop is not worth it yes the art is absolutely brutal but still not worth it my advice save your money second drop now on vhs a particular drop featuring four cars with artwork taken from a 90s movie poster price two versions no foil 29.99 34.99 foil version 39.99 44.99 content value Approximately $84. The most valuable card in this drop is Modern Horizons The First Liver, that even though it has already saw a reprint in Modern Horizons 2, holds a value of around $65. Then we have Food Chain, the Double Masters 2022 version has a value of $18, while the other two cards, Rewind and Trump and Growth, have a combined value of only $1. Verdict worth it 80%. Finally, a drop that is really worth it, and I believe this is how a secret layer drop should be designed. In terms of value versus the price, this is absolutely worth it. You're paying $30 and getting back $80 in value. Thanks especially to the first lever and full chain. Just as always, be careful of future reprints. Commander Masters destroyed the content value of past secret layer drops. Too many reprints. My advice, I would add a couple of drops to my collection. Honestly, they look gorgeous, especially if you have 90s nostalgia. Third drop, Magic the Baseballing, a particular drop featuring the original five Lorwyn Planeswalkers trying their best in baseball. Price, also here, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $26. The most valuable Planeswalker card in the set is Liliana Vess, valued at around $9. Then we have Ajani Goldmay and Garok Wild Speaker, valued at around $7 and $6 respectively. While the rest two Planeswalker cards, Jace Bellerin and Chandra Nalar, have a combined value of $4. Verdict, worth it 60%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not that worth it. You are paying $30 and getting back $26 in value. In my opinion, is this baseball card concept that make this drop worth it. Baseball is a very popular sport, especially in the US and Japan. And we know of baseball cards that have been sold for thousands, even millions of dollars. 
even though these cars will never reach that value, I must admit it's a good idea. My advice, if you like baseball, go for this drop. Four drop, keep parting hard, shred harder than you previously thought possible. A particular drop featuring also here four cars with hard metal themed artwork. Price, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, traditional foil 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $23. The most valuable card in this drop is Commander 2016 Vile Smasher The Fierce, valued at around $9. Then we have Champions of Kamigawa Godo Bandit Warlord, valued at around $6, while the rest two cards, Tevest Vat and Jessica Trice Reborn, have a combined value of around $8. Verdict, worth it 40%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not worth it. You are paying $30 and getting back $23 in value. The artwork definitely adds to the value, but the cards chosen for this gorgeous drop can easily be reprinted in future Masters Remastered set. My advice, buy only for the art, but I would skip. Fifth drop featuring Gary Baseman, a particular drop featuring the five basic land cards with new full artwork by Gary Baseman. Price, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately zero another secret layer drop featuring the five basic lands honestly now it's getting ridiculous verdict worth it 10 percent i must admit that gary basement artwork on these five basic lands is stunning but paying six dollars for a basic land feels like a mockery my advice wizards of the coast with all due respect Go mana screw yourself. Six drop bugging out. A particular drop featuring five cards artwork by Wooden Cyclops. Wooden Cyclops is not new for secret lair drops. Price, the usual two versions. Non-foil 29.99, 34.99. Foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $25. The most valuable card in this drop is Maserek Crow Dead Priest, valued at around $9. Then we have Grice the Hunger Tide, valued at around $6. The rest three cards, Eldritch Evolution, Giant Adephage, and the uncommon card, Noxious Revival, have a combined value of around $10. Verdict, worth it, 50%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not that worth it. You're losing $5. What gives that bit of extra value which can easily break even is the artwork, not your typical magic art, but no doubt it's stunning. My advice, buy if you like this type of artwork. Seventh and last drop, Artist Series Kev Walker, a particular drop featuring four cards with new artwork by Kevin Walker, or best known in the magic community as Kev Walker, one of the few old school magic artists left has been contributing to the game since Mirage. Just take a look at his best work. Absolutely magic textbook art. Price, also here, two versions, no foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $27. The most valuable card in this drop is it that betrays that even though it was recently reprinted in the Commander Masters Eldrazi Unbound deck, the rise of the Eldrazi version still holds a value of $16. Then we have Carnage Tyrant. There was a time where this dinosaur was valued at around $30, even more. Today, unfortunately, it has a value of only $7. The rest of cards, Fey Barrow Elder and Flashback Marauder, have a combined value of $4. Verdict worth it 60%. In terms of value versus the price, you are down by $3. What makes this drop worth it is the new artwork by Kev Walker, one of the few old school magic artists left. Also, don't forget that soon Lost Covers of Ixalan will be released and I am sure there will be more Dino support spells that can make Carnage Tyrant great again. My advice buy for Kev Walker art.
To conclude, we are never getting a break from these drops. My advice will always be, if you like some cars, why not give yourself a nice gift? But if you think that these in the future will spike, you are wrong. With Wizards of the Coast strategy of reprinting everything everywhere, no doubt they will burn down every valuable card. Leave me a comment, what do you think about this new set of drops? And as always, subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.